Hey everyone, it's Vaseem here from the channel Hunts and Smiles. Thank you for joining me on another video. Uh, today is not going to be a review, it's actually going to be a first impressions of five fragrances from the house of Rogue Perfumery. Uh, so Rogue Perfumery is a fragrance house based out of the US and they're an independent fragrance company. Uh, so I found them via loads of like posts on Facebook and a few videos on YouTube and I saw them on Etsy and what really struck me about the company was their slogan I believe that they're not IFRA compliant and they're making fragrances just for the art so them not being IFRA compliant I thought that was amazing uh, IFRA is a company which is just ruining fragrances these days with so many restrictions on notes and ingredients and it's because of them that so many classics especially from the designer realm have been absolutely destroyed because of reformulations because they've banned certain level of ingredients or ingredients altogether so I really was intrigued to try out this company uh, because they're not IFRA compliant another company which I really enjoy that's not in IFRA compliant is uh, Rige Ladori so they use very natural uh, ingredients so Rogue Perfumery never smelled any of them before and I've got five of them today so let's do first impressions the first one is the one that I really wanted to try out and then this one is called Shepra Siam so let's try Shepra Siam Ooh, smells very old school already. It has, gives me like a nostalgic vibe, like a, a smell from my childhood, but I can't really pinpoint what it is. It smells like an old school aftershave that my granddad would have worn. It's got like a touch of like a a powderiness but it's got like a old school powderiness uh, what's that what, what am I trying to say it's got like a, a gentlemanly feel about it Very smooth, powdery, old school. That's how I would describe this. And quite bright. So it's bright, smooth, powdery, and old school. Oh, it's so good. This is so nice. This is like a, an old aftershave my granddad would have worn. She press I am. This is good stuff. Okay, next one I want to try out is tobacco vert so I'm guessing this is like a tobacco based scent so let's try out tobacco vert probably need to spray a little bit more Quite a bright opening for something that's called tobacco. I'm guessing that's like a tobacco based scent, but very fresh. I'm picking up like a warm tobacco, but there's no like a. It's not. Sometimes with tobacco scents, you pick up like a sweetness with it. There's no like sweetness with this. You know, like pure Havan or Herod. Uh, very medicinal, bright medicinal, warm tobacco. Very, very medicinal. Mm. There's like a, a coolness to this. I'm not sure if it's like an eucalyptus that's coming out. Even my nose is quite cool. So medicinal, very cool, possibly a, like a eucalyptus or a mint and some tobacco. I don't know the note list, so I'm probably getting this completely wrong, but this is my first impressions. That's tobacco vert, so it's very cool, very bright. Tobacco, eucalyptus, minty. This is nice stuff. 
again this is very wearable it doesn't seem daring or anything I could definitely wear this to the office it's gonna smell cheaper as I am again oh this is so good <laughs> alright next one is Fougere Lube I believe that's how you pronounce it if I do get the pronunciations wrong please do correct me in the comments below uh, but nicely, I do get a lot of comments regarding my pronunciations and some of you guys are a little bit too uh, harsh. To be a little bit, a uh, bit nicer. I am an Englishman and we do get French quite wrong. So, Fougère Lube, I believe it's pronounced. Let's go. Hey, third from the house, Fougere Lourdes, first impressions. Oh my goodness. Oh, again, this is giving me a nostalgic vibe. Very strong on the lavender. That's why I'm really picking up on Fougere Lourdes. A lot of lavender. So it reminds me of like uh, being a kid. Uh, my mum used to have like those air fresheners, and a lot of air fresheners have like a, a lavender note. But this is like so fresh, so exquisite. It's like running into a field of lavender. That's the sort of uh, that's the sort of image that comes into my head. It's just like uh, running into a field. Where it's really nice and sunny, the field is just full of lavender, and you're just lying down in a field of lavender. Am I picking up other notes? I'll probably have to try it on skin and give it a full wearing. What I'm picking up is just really deep, rich lavender with some brightness, so it's not dark, it's quite bright. Really, really nice. That's Fougere Lobe. A lot of lavender. Next one I'm going to try out is Forty Rouge. Oops, Forty Rouge. So Forty Rouge. No idea what the notes are, but let's see. First impressions. That's the, uh, my. Uh, I think it's really exciting to try out fragrances where you don't know absolutely nothing about the notes, and uh, then just afterwards checking what the notes are, then finding out you've got them completely wrong. But that's first impressions. Let's go. Forty Rouge Rogue Perfumery I can smell this from here This is nice Ah, again It's giving me like a nostalgic vibe It's quite old school Very, very fresh Fresh But there's some sort of uh, Like a, a darker element to this it smells to me, reminds me a little bit of like a like a fresh shaving soap. Obviously back in the days I don't shave anymore, but back in the days I used to use very artisanal shaving soaps and this sort of gives off a little bit of a smell like a barbershoppy smell. That's what I'm getting from Forty Rouge. Again, I might be completely wrong with this. So this is really fresh. And I'm getting like a barbershop smell. Not sure if there's lavender in this or not, but fresh and it's got a little bit of coolness. That's what I'm getting from 40 Rouge. Fresh coolness and the smell of like shaving cream. I'll have to check the notes out for this one. Uh, I'm saying it's a barbershop scent, but I'm probably getting that completely wrong. But that's why I'm picking up. I'm picking up a barbershop by 40 Rouge. Alright, last one is Diverche. I believe it's pronounced Diverche. I've left it last because the pronunciation is, uh, for me, is going to be terrible. Diverche. Uh, guys, please do let me know regarding the pronunciations. I'm going to put the names of the fragrances in the comment section below uh, because I know my pronunciations are awful. So, Rogue Perfumery, Diverche. Let's go. This is the last one for the first impressions. 
I picked up all these samples from uh, uh, Greg's uh, channel, uh, website called Fragrant Samples UK. He's not told me to do uh, endorse them or anything. I've just picked them up because they were good prices. And here in the UK, you can pick up a delivery from uh, Rogue Perfumery from them because they do the, their samples. I tried to place an order directly with Rogue Perfumery through Etsy, but I think because of the coronavirus lockdown they're not shipping to the UK but anyway dive shade let's go first impressions this one is darker than all of the others the others but more like daytime scents a little bit more on the uh, warm weather fresh weather daytime sort of scent this one is giving me more of a the nighttime dive shade oh this is sweet, very deep, very resinous. I'm getting like an the colour orange comes into my mind. Orange and um, like an autumn sort of theme. Oh, it's sweet, very resinous. I think there's like an ambery sort of quality in this. Again, it's like giving me a nostalgic vibe. I'm not sure why indie fragrances which use natural f uh, ingredients give me such a like a nostalgic sort of vibe like I've smelt something like this before it smells old school like I've smelt this there's some spices coming from this as well super sweet like a like I'm walking in a market selling uh, like Arabian sort of sweets that's the sort of vibe I'm getting Ambery resinous sweet, uh, like a gourmand sweetness. I'm picking up and a mysteriousness. Darvishay, very beautiful. I have to smell as cheaper as I am again. Uh, okay, so those are my uh, first impressions for five uh, fragrances from the House of Rogue Perfumery. Uh, have you guys checked them out? Let me know in the comment section below. I'm going to be doing a lot of testing of these in the coming weeks and I'm going to do my full review so be sure to check that out uh, make sure to subscribe if you don't want to miss that out guys if you've enjoyed this review uh, these first impressions please leave me a like and a comment below until next time my friends see you later